Well, guys, the Herefords are gone. They have been sold. Um, they actually got sold. I sold them a week and a half ago now. So I thought they sold pretty well. Um, obviously, the coal cow market is pretty high right now, along with all the other cattle prices. But um, it was a little bit higher around here a month or two ago. So they didn't bring top dollar like they had been. Um, but I can't complain about what they brought. So one of these bulls was a little bit heavier. He weighed 1,700. Um, the lighter one weighed 1,600. And the one that was a little thinner, he brought more per pound. I think he brought a dollar sixty-seven, something like that. And then the heavier one brought like a dollar fifty-three or four or something like that. So, anyway, when they weigh that much and bring that much per pound, I cannot complain. I think back in the day we paid like twelve or thirteen hundred for them as fourteen, fifteen month olds. But yeah, pretty happy with those two. Normally you're not going to break even on selling your coals for salvage value. But in this case, we did better than break even. Um, I think we even came out positive. So, so yeah, pretty pleased with them. Um, and then the bred cow that her calf died of pneumonia about a month ago. Um, she was second stage bred. She was supposed to start. She was supposed to calve in March. Oh, what'd she bring? They sold her by the head. I think she brought like 17. No, she brought 1850. That's what she brought. Anyway, kind of sad. No more Herefords. Um, kind of a end of an era there uh, i won't have any more herford bulls for who knows how long could be 20 years from now um so yeah time to try some different breeds and uh which beef masters which i've talked about in the last video and multiple other videos that's kind of what i'm switching to now and the beef master breed itself uh they're made up of 25 percent herford 25 percent shorthorn and 50 percent brahma so um still have a little bit of Hereford in the bulls, I guess, technically. So, um, still hoping for a white face out of these Beefmaster bulls, putting them on black, white face cows, but we'll see. I uh, don't know how that's going to turn out yet. Get on there. Get him. Hey. Hey. Get. Hey. Get. Get. Hey. 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 Get. Hey. 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 Get. Hey. 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 Get up there. Hey. Get up there. There's the two bulls. Let's see if we can get the last two. Turn around.
Well, so much for that. Another broken panel. <sighs> yeah. One of these days I'm gonna have to get an actual good setup out here because I've lost a couple loads of calves this way. And now it's kind of annoying. Get them caught, get them separated, and then lose them right at the last second. Got a little mouse sitting here. Wonder if he was yep, he was making a nest there. Like I said, I'm gonna have to get some sort of panels out here. I've been looking at those freestanding ones, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. I just know these these panels aren't cutting it, so anyway. It'd be nice to have a new set of pins out here before uh, before I wing these calves. And uh, then I've got three, three or four, actually, I'll have about 14 cows to catch and sell when I wean calves. So yeah, be nice, be nice to get, be nice to get a good setup before then for sure. <laughs> So here's two beef master bulls that dropped off. Um, I'm now gonna let the other bulls in. So you guys saw me load the Herefords at the beginning of this video. Um, Herefords are gone. They were sold. We're done with Herefords. Uh, see we've got the two black baldies here. They're gonna be half Hereford, quarter Angus, quarter Gelby. And uh, the black one there is the Simital, semi Angus actually, but uh, anyway, I figured I'd show you what kind of bull power we got now. Uh, now that the Herefords are gone, um, so what we're gonna do is keep these two black baldies. They're four, maybe almost five now, um, so they're not old. They've still got a couple good years left in them, and uh, we're gonna let them get acquainted to the Beefmaster here. Um, Anyway, the two black baldies have a couple good years left of breeding, so we're probably going to let them do the majority of the breeding on the cows at home. And the plan is to start using the young beef masters and this black one here. Um, the young beef masters you guys saw me buy last video. So, the plan is to use those two and this black one here um, after these Herefords, after the half Herefords are out of the rotation. Um, this red beef master don't plan on. Uh, using him very much unless there's an emergency. He just didn't grow out how I wanted him to. Um, his head's not really shaped shaped how I want it. Um, and he just doesn't look that great. So uh, black one black one looks fine, I like him. Uh, he just has big calves, so probably only use him on fall calving cows since their calves tend to be quite a bit smaller. So um, anyway, these are the bulls we're using now. We've got four beef masters, semi-angus, and then the two half Hereford gelby Angus crosses. Anyway, these guys are out of a job for at least the next three months, well, two and a half months. Uh, I should have had the beef masters hauled in a long time ago. Uh, just never got around to it, and you can kind of see why I was dreading trying to catch them, because uh, I was afraid it was gonna turn out to be a mess, and uh, luckily I caught them, but missed the calves. So anyway, bulls are out of a job for a little bit. Um, they're gonna be in the bullpen eating hay, uh, hopefully packing on some pounds before they go out to the cows again here late November, beginning of December. And like I said in the last video, I'm hoping to use the young beef masters on the first breeding cycle this year, just because I kind of want to see what the calves look like, but uh, not really sure they're young. I don't want to miss any cows calving on time just due to them being young and not being able to handle that many cows. So um, anyway, I've got some time to figure out what bulls I'm going to put in with the main group here at home. So like I said, it'll be about two months before I got to stick them in with cows. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you for now. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I'll be sure to check those out and respond. And as always, guys, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.